Today we're going to go over the ABCs of anger. You can use this in an individual setting or a group setting. So how are you doing today, Megan? I'm feeling very angry today. Oh, really? Okay, well maybe you could tell me a little bit about the problem. Well, today at school, some girl threw her pencil case at me and called me a slut. Okay, so how did that make you feel? I was really pissed off about it. Okay. I was really pissed off about it. So, after she called you this name, how did you respond? I picked up the pencil case and threw it right back at the bitch. What were the consequences? <clears throat> well, I ended up getting a month worth of detention and I have to write an apology letter to my class for disrupting it. So today we're going to go over the ABCs of anger. So I'm going to ask you a few more questions and just be as honest as you can, okay? So for the ABCs of anger, A would be what caused the problem? Well, she called me a slut. Right. Okay. And she threw something at me. <clears throat> okay. Um, so for the B part of the anger management would be what, what led up to the situation? Well, yesterday, her boyfriend stopped me in the hall and asked to borrow my notes from our science class. So I gave him my notes. For the last part of the anger management, the ABCs, the C would be what were the consequences? Well, my teacher gave me a month's worth of detention and then I have to write a stupid apology letter to my class for disrupting them. What were the consequences? <clears throat> Well, I ended up getting a month worth of detention and I have to write an apology letter to my class for disrupting it. So now that we've identified the ABCs of anger, I want to go over some triggers with you as well. Do you know what they are? I have no idea. So the first trigger is an internal trigger. So an internal trigger is usually something that happens on the inside of you. So it's usually a situation or something or a feeling that you feel on the inside. Sometimes it's even your, your, own, your own mind talking over inside of you that's saying something like to the extent, it's almost what you said, you know, that she embarrassed you in front of everybody and it probably made you feel really bad and you felt like you had to deal with it. The other one is an external trigger. Do you know what that is? I don't. <clears throat> so usually an external trigger is something that happens on the outside that's not coming from within you. So in that situation, it could be an environmental situation. So when you're walking in class and somebody makes an inappropriate comment to you or throws something at you, that's an external trigger. 